Hey guys, so today here in the shop we have a 2014 Chevy Volt. Um, the Volt has been throwing the occasional code for the battery coolant level. Uh, now when we come check the battery coolant level, it's good. So there is a sensor that's under the tank over here. Um, the tank, I know you can't see it, I'll get you in here in a minute. The tank's right here. You have multiple uh, coolant things on this. But the one for the battery is right here, um, and uh, the height of that's fine. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the sensor for it. Uh, I have it right here. Don't know if you can see that. There's a sensor. Let me give you the part number. Um, there you go. There's the part number for it. So... Now, one thing Chevy did um, is they built the sensor to where you do not have to drain the tank or do any of that stuff to get to it. It's actually a, um, there's a little float in there that has like a little magnet on the bottom. And this sensor will actually electrically sense that float. There you go. So what happens is as it moves up and down, this will sense it. And then tell your height. So. I'll get you in here and show you a little closer what's going on. And then I'm going to change that out. All right, guys, let me get you in here and show you what I'm talking about. So this is your battery coolant tank. Um, this side is your battery coolant. This side, I'm not sure. I'm going to guess engine, but it, you know, not 100% sure. So I don't want to say. This is your battery side. Now, um, this is a supposedly anti, you know, like try to keep you to mess with it. But you could just pry that baby out of the way. Well, put it right back over. It's really kind of dumb. Now, I did end up taking this off. I'll tell you later in the video. If I had to come back and refilm this. But um, I did end up popping this off just because with my big hands, this baby was kind of scraping me. So... I went ahead and popped this off. Just took these out right here. Um, but you can see the electrical connection right there. Okay. And the sensor actually goes underneath down in here. So you have to jam your hand in there. That's why I could not show you any of it on camera. But this is your battery tank. So if you get, like I'm going to say again at the end, if you get a sensor for... Uh, or, uh, sorry, a code for service high voltage. Check this coolant. It should be above this bracket is where mine likes to run. Again, I'm kind of repeating what I'm telling you at the end because I'm refilming this. But I want to get this part right. Um, so this is a DIY job. I mean, you can do it. It's not that hard. It just pries out. I didn't really use any tools um, except for the little pry thing to get these pins out. That's about it. So give it a shot. Okay, so I got the sensor out. Um, I'm going to tell you, it's a little bit of a task to get it out. Uh, one thing you need to know is the way this sensor is oriented, kind of like this. Let's see if I can show you this. The way it's sensor is oriented like this. When you get in there, you want to put your hands on this side to get it out, but you can't. This side's blocked, so you have to reach around the back where the radiator is and kind of pry out. Then this sensor will pop out. So this is the old one. Um, you know, a little dirty. It's got 100,000 miles on it, but um, I'm going to go ahead and pop this new sensor in. And like I said, there's not a ton you can see. Um, it's kind of hard to get in and out. Uh, I mean, it's not... You know that like a person can't do it but it does take some effort you have to jam your hand down in there especially if you have kind of big ones uh i did end up actually taking this plate off this plastic cover because i kind of thought it'd give me more room uh but it really didn't so um i mean it maybe gave me the tiniest bit to fit, fit my hand down in there better so if you need to take this plastic cover off right here um, I just use one of these trim wrenches to take it off. So anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pop the new sensor in 
start it up, clear the code, and I estimate that'll take care of it. So there you go. 2014 volt. Uh, this is the battery coolant side. And like I said, if this goes bad, or if you get a battery coolant, air, no charge, service high uh, voltage system, blah, blah, blah. Come out and check this battery coolant level. It's the one on the pasture side. Make sure it's almost at the top. Um, it seems like it wants to live slightly above the black bracket. Um, if it's low, you can put a little bit in it. Uh, if it's not low, then chances are this sensor is your problem. So there you go. I'm Dave with Absolute Car Guys. Um, thanks for coming along. Put the sensor in. Have a good one. Enjoy the ride.